Right, well, after two days, this is um, the product here that was marinating. Hi, my name is Kamala, better known as Tanti. Hi, my name is Lyndon, better known as Lolly. I would like to welcome you at Lynn's exclusive taste at Charlotteville. So I am welcoming you into my kitchen. So as we say good morning once again, and today we are doing smoked fish at Lolly's. And today I am demonstrating. What kind of fish we have here? We have um, tuna. Yeah. So this was caught right here in Chalalville. Right here in Chalalville. Right, right. right, so like what's the first thing you have to do for the smoking process? Right, well, um, after we got the fish, we cut off the head, which is like this. Right, put that aside. We don't, don't need the head for this process. And we start by splitting the fish right down to the bone right right down to the bone yeah right down to the bone take off this whole side here Now we're gonna mark it like this. Uh, this is for the, the salt, so you can marinate through the, the, the flesh of the fish. Right? So, this is how we're going. All the way. Right? So in this case, when saying that, for the size of, size of the fish, we don't normally leave it like this. We cut it in half because of the size, right? So we cut it in half like that. So it could be half there, half here. Same goes for here. So we turn it on the other side. Some people normally like just thing and take out the bone, but for me, I like to have a clean slate. When saying that, that um, you must not have much work to do now when you're cleaning it. You understand? It might be, it must be more simple for you. So, turn it over like this. Same process. Half two years, well, you know. I just started to do this on my own. You know? So, same goes to this piece here. Cut it in two. Right? Center bone. Most time I keep this to myself. Same thing, put it to smoke. And this, like, my, um, my portion here, right? Outside of business. So we do this for ourselves. After we finish splitting the fish, we give it a little lime or lemon to cut the rank and so on. So with this now, we have it sit inside the lime juice. So at least 10, 15 minutes, you know, Make sure it soak a little bit now. Wash out whatever extra blood that's inside the fish and so on. Right, well we normally use the tuna, albaco, um, skipjack, which is like uh, bonito, which is another species of the tuna. And um, sailfish, which I have some in a bucket there right now, which we'll go and put on in the, the smokehouse in a while again. So we, we in the process of salting the fish, 
which um, the, the marks on the flesh is for the purpose of the salt going down into the flesh, all the way down into the flesh, you know. Yeah, all down into all these corners and things like that. You understand? Yeah, just eyeballing it. You don't have to have a specific amount of salt. As you could see, the more salt, the merrier. You know, definitely, you know, it can't spoil. You understand? That is one piece. All the way down inside. Right, so, so you're not scooping up salt in the skin side? No, just the first side. So after finish salting, we put the fish in a bucket to marinate for like two days. Um, I'll recommend one day outside for um, outside the, the freezer. And after that, inside the freezer, if you're ready to smoke it for safekeeping, make sure that everything is well kept. Because it's for marketing purpose. You want people to get the best product. Right, well, after two days, this is um, the product here. We go in and put it in um, the smokehouse. Right, so this is another batch of fish had. Yes, this is another batch of fish I had before that was marinating. Right? So this smokehouse here, better known as a tanga. This is the old school style. Back thing. You understand? So this is how it's like. Well I went ahead and light it up before and so. Right? So we have like one rack. Right? Right, well we more use the uh, like the um, citrus with like from um, lemon, um, tambran, mango, avocado, those kind of things. Yeah, for the flavor and thing because some wood, you know, um, gives off a, a sort of bitterness like the um, cypress and cedar and so forth. You can use them kind of wood to smoke that kind of fish. Right, so and how, long, like, how, how long before you have to like light it? Well, sometimes I, I, I normally like lay the fish and then light it, you know. But um, after you, 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 after you light it and you make sure that it catch, then you could lay a fish, you know. So sometimes I, I lay the fish before, to eliminate the um, smoke and thing in your face that way. You understand? <coughs> so, that is easy for that. So, we're going ahead now. <coughs> and start a lady fish on the top. So you're laying it on the skin side? No. Flesh down. Right? So all the water and everything will drip off from inside the fish. Right now, the demand is more than anything with this fish here. Everybody loves this fish. We don't try to um, put too much of wood one time because you don't want it to make a big blaze. It's just like a slow fire with smoke. You understand? <laughs> Two to three days and you're good to go. Yeah, day and night and you're good to go. Yeah, man. So old school style. This is the next process from um, smoking after smoking for two to three days. <coughs> this is how the final product looks like. Well, this is not like um, dead fresh. We had this in the freezer and so forth. So um, <coughs> we gotta be going on put some on the fire right now for cooking purposes we're going and cook smoked fish and dumpling with provision right so this is how you normally do it you use it to like boil it so what rehydrate it and take out some of the salt salt and so on so we put a little sugar in the water 
to cut some of the extra salt that was in the fish and so on so we got get a nice taste right so normal average you know always in the hands as a cook so on like twice so you after you boil it with the salt eh? you change the water you taste it to make sure well if it do have too much of salt then you leave it like that if it have extra salt in it that you you need to get out of it then you boil it again same process we have the smoked fish we have the flavor pepper onions sweet pepper carrots tomato right so you're going and fix up the smoked fish now to go with the dumpling and the provision. A little oil in the pot here. Onion. And fry up the onion. Carrot. Pizza pepper. Pizza pepper. Bring everything to a nice turn out. Make everything marinate nice in the oil. I'm going to say cook with me a little bit. And now we're getting ready to add the smoke fish awesome. I saw that looking nice nice and sweet So when you come to Shallaville on a Wednesday and a Friday, you can expect to get some uh, nice smoked fish, dumping and provision, you know, at um, Lynn's exquisite taste. You understand? So, lovely people's choice, demonstrating how the dumping and smoked fish should be looking like. All right, so the contact number is 758 Four five or seven eight eight zero zero six two.